குருடியும் மசைந்து சொல்லும் கலாம் கலாம் சலாம் சலாம் தேசம் முழுக்க எழுந்து சொல்லும் கலாம் கலாம் சலாம் a feeling whenever i give something i feel happy you see this is you try that uh, whatever you may have knowledge you have sometime better economy you may have better better because sometime you have a kind words you can have so if you use and make somebody's life happy that is you are giving and his or her life is uh, happy that's a better the best thing a human being can think of the, that then you will get a god conflict free world that's why i used to say where there is righteousness in the heart there's beauty in the character where there is beauty in the character there is harmony in the home harmony in the home where there is harmony in the home there is order in the nation when there is order in the nation there's peace in the world where is a starting point where there is a righteousness in the heart beauty in the character harmony in the home and the order in the nation peace in the world all are in one of the others coming so where we start we start the righteous now remember this incident 1979 1979 sl3 satellite launch vehicle i was the project director mission director my mission is to put the satellite in the orbit thousands of people worked nearly 10 years i reached the i reached the sriri kota and is in the launch pad countdown was going on t minus 4 minutes t minus 5 minutes t minus 1 1 minute t minus 40 seconds computer put a hold don't launch it computer says don't launch it i am the mission director i have to take decision everything is on behind me there are six experts they saw did the computer database coming in and screen and they see the pictures in the screen they said there's a problem the problem is there's a leakage in a system in the control system but immediately the calculus no problem we have got sufficient fuel and oxidize for control control system is controls the rocket to the required attitude and uh, we can go ahead now of course my experts view but i took a the decision problem is mine i to finally i took a decision i bypass the computer i launch the system okay i launch the okay polo went first stage worked is a four stage rocket and second stage got mad it went to the spin instead of putting the satellite in the orbit it put in the bay of bengal <laughs> 1979 it was a failure it was a failed first time i experienced my failure how do you manage the failure success i can manage so at that time we a great man we a great leader professor satish dhawan he comes to me i am very tired working nearly for months he wakes me up come let us go for a press conference press is meeting there like this number of people world press with photo this and that all the gadget they are there i was really frightened i will be the culprit <laughs> because i am the project direct mission director what satish dawan said chairman indian space research organization said dear friends we have failed today we is the first time i have to do all the success all the failure is uh, i want to support my technologists and scientists and staff so that next year they succeed so he took the whole blame himself and uh, then media asked you put uh, bay of bengal so many crores you are putting like that lot of criticism he received the criticism he assured them in a year we will succeed with our team is a very good team next year here only interesting they happened next year july 18 1980 when he succeeded professor dawan said you go and conduct the press conference do you follow mm. what this means mm. it means when the failure occurred the leader took it up when the success came he gives to his team how did you become so great <laughs> how did i become so great that's a question well 
which class you are sitting? Fourth. What's your dream in life? I want to become a singer. Singer. Did you study at Karnataka? Did you study at Karnataka? Any music? Yeah. Any music. Any music. Well, I don't know how big. I don't know. You know, in the relative terms. So I personally believe you must have a dream. Say, you must. Have, I must have a dream. I must have a dream. I must continuously acquire knowledge. Continuously acquire knowledge. I must continuously acquire knowledge. Hard work. Hard work. Hard work. And perseverance. And perseverance. One should not be af- one not afraid of problems. Not afraid of problems. Then you'll be successful. We should know how to handle the not only how to handle the success, how to handle the failures. particularly you are in the management environment you are water it i want the young people to understand how to manage the failure because any task you do you have to come across problem problem should not become the captain of the individual or the project chief and uh, the project chief should become the captain of the problems and defeat the problem itself and for a culture of excellence the excellence is not by accident it is a process where an individual continuously strives to better oneself the performance standards are set by themselves they work on their dreams with focus and are prepared to take calculated risk and do not get deterred by failures as they move towards their dreams then they step up their dreams as they tend to reach the original targets they strive to work to their potential in the process they increase their performance thereby multiplying further their potential this is an unending life cycle phenomena culture of excellence they are not in competition with anyone else but themselves that is a culture of excellence i'm sure each one of you will aspire to become a unique with culture of excellence shmas you've written books you've served as president you're an aerospace engineer you've been a professor but you say the title you like best is the title of teacher why is that you know i had i had a teacher when i was a young boy 10 years boy war time the second world war going on at that time i used to see in my class fifth class teacher in science teacher his name is swar subramanya iyer he entered the classroom and we used to see the radiation of knowledge from him. radiation of knowledge from him. when he enters the classroom my teacher i see radiation of purity of life and his the way he taught i my dream has got shaped what should be my way of life he is the person the teacher gave me the vision of my life when i was a young fellow now a teacher has got the fantastic opportunity to grow minds to enrich the minds and give the dreams to the young people and nurture the dreams with them and they will become a great human being sometime they will become better than you but better than the teacher so that opportunity you have and also the teacher like what i am doing i am a professor i can also do the research young researchers will be work with me that's a great pleasure when they get the phd history has proven history has proven that those who dare to imagine the impossible are the ones who break all the human limitations in every field of human endeavor whether science medicine sports arts or technology the names of the people just now i listed some of the names the names of the people who imagined the impossible are engraved in our history by breaking the limits of their imagination by breaking their limits of their imagination they change they change the world you take cv raman you take uh, newton you take einstein you take chandrashekar 
they, by breaking the limits of their imag imagination, they change the world. But carefully hear me what I'm saying. I learned, what did I learn from the youth of 11 million people? I learned every youth wants to be unique. Every youth wants to be unique. That is you. Every youth wants to be unique. That is you. But the world around, around you is doing its best day and night to make you just everybody else. Now, now, the question is whether you want to be you or everybody else. You? You want to be you? Not everybody else. Now, if the question be like everybody else is convenient at the first glance, but not satisfying in the long vision. The challenge, therefore, my young friends, is that you have to fight the hardest battle. You have to fight the hardest battle, which any human being can ever imagine to fight and never stop fighting until you arrive at your destined place. That is the unique you. To get, to, to get the unique you is a big battle. The battle means you don't need to take a gun. The battle means you have to have four unique things, four unique tools you must have in that battle. Uh, one is you have to set the goal. The second one is acquire the knowledge continuously. And third one, it's a hard work with the devotion. And fourth is perseverance. These are the tools you have to, uh, the, for the battle the way you have to wage. If you want to be discoverers, if you want to be innovators, I am going to give you what type of uh, what type of characteristic you must have. Invention and discoveries have emanated from creative minds that have been constantly working and imagining the outcome. The telephone, he was imagining the outcome, imagining the outcome in the mind. With the imaging and constant effort, all the forces of the universe work for that inspired mind, thereby leading to invention and discoveries. See, I have a feeling, whenever I do something, I feel happy. You see, this is you try. That uh, whatever you may have knowledge, you have sometimes better economy you may have. Better, better, maybe sometimes you have a kind words you can have. So if you use and make somebody's life happy, that is you are giving and his or her life is uh, happy, that's a better, best thing a human being can think of. That, that, then you'll get a conflict-free conflict world. That is, a leader should work with integrity and succeed with integrity. Leader should work with integrity succeed with that and uh, I, I believe president since you asked the question has to be continuously in touch with the people Rashtrapati Bhavan where uh, I, I was uh, there became a people's Bhavan instead of Rashtrapati Bhavan it becomes people's Bhavan and also I travel into the whole state cutting across hill deserts and sea I was in touch with Millions and millions of people.